uh, to Atrium Dumbo. I'm Alex LePratt, and we're going to be making Milk Punch today. Uh, milk Punch is a bit of a misnomer. People get confused about it because they think it's got milk in it, but it's an old recipe dating back to the 17th century, uh, believed to be credited to an English novelist, but the milk really just acts as a bit of a filter for it. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing you need is a pineapple. I'm going to go ahead and peel this. So once you get off all the underripe rind, we're going to slice it super thin and we're going to pound it out. It's going to take a rolling pin, kind of just press this out a bit. Another one, if you feel like not churning butter almost here, uh, you could just cut it up into really small pieces and use an immersion blender, but it just doesn't have the same feel, I feel like. Not enough love. Next, we want to take some spices, the basic punch recipe. You're looking at about 18 cloves about 60 coriander seeds and one stick of cinnamon. You could use a mortar and pestle, but after the pineapple, I don't think we need to. I'm gonna use a spice grinder. After that, we're gonna add a little bit of uh, lemon zest. Careful just to take off the beautiful lemon zest, get all that lemon flavor. That's one, one more. And that looks pretty good. And next, we're gonna be adding lemon juice. Now, what you would wanna do normally is squeeze the two that you just zested and four more, but I'm gonna take a little shortcut today and there's about two ounces of lemon juice in every lemon uh, roughly so I'm just gonna add it some fresh squeezed lemon I need 12 all day then I weighed out ahead of time a pound of caster sugar but you could use you can use powdered sugar as well whatever you're gonna stir it up it's gonna dissolve it's just sugar and next comes the fun part my favorite part is the spirits time so we use uh, three different uh, sugarcane products uh, and a cognac uh, because we want to bring out more kind of complexity in this punch and uh, a great cocktail really is all about layering. The, the driving force is going to be this ESOP cognac. Uh, it's this Guillaume Pintrode from the best part of cognac which is Grand Champagne and it has very very chalky soils, gives the Uni Blanc high acidity. We're going to add 20 ounces of that. Any well-made cognac is uh, going to do the trick. You could definitely use like Hein or Hennessy would be good too. And we're gonna move on uh, to some rums. This one, uh, Cagna Brava, it's a sugarcane product. We're gonna add 10 ounces of this rum. Any well-made white rum should be fine in this recipe. And then you wanna do Smith & Cross. This is an overproofed uh, Jamaican rum. It's got a real powerful smell, real fruity and funky. So that's gonna give some character to your, uh, to your punch. 10 ounces again. And last but not least, uh, another basically rum, uh, Batavia Arak. We're gonna do five ounces of that. So next we're gonna boil some water. We got a quart of water boiling. Of course, be careful, it's hot. And that's gonna do a couple things. It's definitely gonna help that sugar dissolve as well as start to incorporate all these ingredients. We're gonna also add a really strong cup of tea. I went right to uh, the Big Daddy Earl Grey. And then we're gonna stir it, just help those guys get mixed up in there. Now that we've added uh, the hot water, we've stirred it all up, we're just gonna cover it, we're gonna let it sit. We let ours sit for a day, just to kind of macerate and soak up that flavor. So it's macerated 24 hours, sat overnight, soaked up all the flavor. We're gonna open it up. We're gonna add a little bit more acid to it. So the juice of two more lemons, or as we know, two ounces per lemon of lemon juice. We're gonna add four more ounces. Just gonna make the environment rather acidic so that when we add a quart of high fat milk, which we brought to a boil, we're gonna pour that in and it's gonna curdle almost instantly. So now you're thinking, why do I want curdled milk in my milk punch? The reason why is because the milk is going to act almost as a, a filtering agent. Uh, it's gonna filter this punch and the juice is gonna come out clear. The reason why we wanna use it is because uh, it adds an incredible mouthfeel and texture. So what I have here is a china cap as well as uh, an apron. Great, any kind of nylon will do. And I'm gonna slowly pull it in. The curdled milk is gonna make almost a net uh, inside of the china cap, which everything's gonna filter through. And as it filters out, you can see the juice is clear. So we're just gonna leave that in there to strain. We're gonna strain it a couple times, and it takes, it takes a little while. Um, you're probably looking at like maybe a half hour, 45 minutes for all of this to strain through. 
So now we've let the punch filter through the, the nylon, through the china cap, in to this lovely cork container. And we're gonna pour it to a clear glass bottle. We're gonna serve it. You always know, serve it over ice. I would do about four or five ounces. And then a nutmeg for the season. There you have it, Atrium Dumbo's Milk Punch. Thank you so much for joining us. Come see us at the restaurant soon and try it for yourself.